Hey, it's Gordon. Welcome to the bench. We're not at the bench. You know where I am. I'm in my dining room. It's cooler in here. Tonight I have something that came in the mail. It's going to be an unboxing. Okay. I have no idea what's in here. I thought it would be fun. We haven't done this in a while. We have some cute um, placemats we're going to get out of the way. But this comes to my house from a new friend. This is someone I have uh, communicated with online. I'm going to say his name. I didn't ask permission. If I don't have it, I'll blank it out. But thank you, Mitchell Kirk. Um, I don't know what's in here. And this is what makes these things kind of fun. So let's just get to it. I am going to cut this puppy open. While I'm doing that, I am going to shout out to the folks at Plain Wellness, right? If you saw this awesome shirt that I'm wearing, it's an organization. If you're not familiar with it, it's the works and the effort of Jamie Harpster, an amazing man doing amazing things for people that need help and want to learn woodworking, all levels from advanced skills to entry level stuff. And I love his shirt and I wear it a lot. So super cool. So you want to see what's in here? Of course you do. This is Honduran Rosewood possibly Bolivian, okay? And I see pieces, parts, like someone was trying to make some knobs or started to. I see some horns. This is good stuff. We are definitely going to play with that. And some other samples. We have three pieces of Cocobolo. Some people say Cocobolo. I don't, I say Cocobolo. Um, that is pretty. Those are super cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is kind of like Christmas in the middle of July, right? Fun stuff. I see some more pieces. These are kind of offs and drops maybe. They're little pieces of, okay. So they're pieces of wood and I wondered if I wouldn't, this is not planned. I wondered if we were gonna encounter this, but this is Bobinga. And I have a severe allergy to Bobinga and my dear wife, the camera operator is, got these big eyes, like, what are you doing? Okay, so I can't touch that. I will break out like the scene from Willy Wonka. I have an EpiPen that I carry at all times. I've encountered some wood dust and I've uh, been sensitized to Bobinga to the point now where if I touch it, I will break out. And then overnight I will swell up and my ears get real big and my eyes get closed and then I end up in urgent care. So we're gonna just set this aside. I'm gonna have to do something with that, but I can't open it. And hopefully there's no other raw Bobinga in here. So he, my friend would not have known that. So there's a little fun surprise. Uh, more Cocobolo, and this has a little bit of uh, the heartwood and sapwood together, which people love crazy green like that. So I'm already in my mind trying to think of what we're going to do with those cool things. And what else do we have? We have, uh, this may be handcrafted, of course it is, a saw nut screwdriver with, made out of figured walnut. Look at the grain. If I tip that in the light just right, that is beautiful. Brass barrel and a beautiful screwdriver tip. And that fits my hand very, very nicely. I love this. I, I'm wondering what I did to deserve this box, but I truly appreciate it. And guess what I find? Something else in here. Another one. This would be um, mm -mm -mm. cap iron screwdriver. This again is handmade and I don't have my glasses on, but it's handmade from Patagonia Rosewood. So this too, I bet is beautiful in the sunlight as well. In my artificial light in here, I see some great color. And this is something that um, I'm sure he has handcrafted. It's very well made. I do not have one. And I did see uh, the video, another great friend of mine, Mr. Corinth, he has done a video on how to make these. 
and he's using, I, I want to say tool steel and some brass ferrules and doing some really cool stuff too. Um, I love this. I like the flats. This is a octagonal shape, so it's not going to roll off my bench, but that also fits in my hand. I don't have one. I absolutely love this. So thank you. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate this. That is beautiful. Um, again, and that's the end of the box, but wow, Mitchell, thank you very much. I, I am so grateful to have good friends out there. The woodworking community is amazing. Um, so back to you guys. Thanks for sticking around. I have a lot of really cool stuff going on. I'm super behind as always, and I have some exciting news coming up. Um, so I hope that you'll stick around as soon as I can announce it. I'm going to thanks again for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Talk to you guys soon.